Hi again folks, how's all doing? Yes, it's another Hornby Black 5. Um, this was sent to me by Paul along with the 2MT recently. Uh, he tells me this has got a broken valve gear, which you can see there, and uh, it's got a broken uh, body fixing screw and stuff. So I think this has been in the wars. Um, it also appears to be a total non-runner. Let's just turn on the power. Absolutely nothing. Not a sausage, there is a dodo. So something tells me this isn't going to be straightforward, but we'll shove it into the shed and see what we can do. So Hornby Black 5, we meet again. Uh, I think along with the Flying Scotsman and Class 37s, the Black 5 is the locomotive I get asked to look at the most. Um, yeah, this is in a wee bit of a state. We've got that broken valve gear. It would be possible to put a little rivet in there or something, but I've actually been able to source a, a replacement uh, for this bit. I had to pay a ridiculous amount of money for it on eBay, but never mind. Um, yeah, the drawbar is broken. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm not liking what I'm seeing there. Um, it looked like the drawbar was broken where it joins onto the tender, but yeah, <laughs> the uh, the plastic frame of the tender appears to be very broken. Uh, the rear coupling is also broken off. Um, that might have happened in the post actually. I think that's a fresh break because um, this was in its original box in one of those uh, polystyrene trays that I really don't like. Uh, we've got wires going. Um, from the locomotive to the tender and I've checked the service sheet and that is how it was so this was a hard wired tender drive with the Fleischmann motor one of those so we've got this problem as well but I think that's possibly partly down oh no that's all just worn so yeah we've got that problem we've got a non-running motor that could be pickup issues or all sorts the locomotive looks like it needs a good clean i want to take this off just to see what sort of state the uh this plastic frame is in oh gee whiz this is literally just falling apart I don't know how well you can see, but it's completely broken at the front there. There's a big crack here. I can actually just take that off like that. That's how broken that is. Uh, ideally, I would like to replace that. But I think the chances of getting one will be slim. So we've got little bits of plastic. So a wee bit of a 3D puzzle to see if we can piece that back together and get it glued up. Uh, right, let's have a look at the motor. Commutator looks pretty manky. Let's try a battery on it. There's not much happening there. Nothing at all. Right, let's undo screw get that off what have we got oh it doesn't look too bad I think these wires have been joined together insulated with some packing tape but I think what we'll do is we'll get the motor working we'll give it a strip down a clean up you've seen me working these motors before um, so I won't video too much of that. We'll give the locomotive a good clean up, um, make sure it's all okay, we'll replace that valve gear. I think the real fun in games is going to be getting this back together. Uh, we'll get a little tray for bits and bobs. And we'll take this apart. Oh, blimey. Well, very dirty grimy brushes and a very dirty grimy commutator that's why it's not running 
Look at that. Uh, right, we'll get the circlet off. I'm starting to get the hang of these. This is a six wheel drive, tender drive. All the wheels are geared and all have uh, traction tyres. Crazy stuff. Right, let's see if we can get that wheel off. And that'll come out. Let's fill the gears. Oh dear. See, there's quite a lot of wear on there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this isn't a particularly good runner once we get it all sorted out. Yep, let's just pull that out. Okay, I'll get cleaned up separately. Um, everything else, all, the, all these tiny wee bits and pieces can go in the tea strainer. And they'll go into the sonic cleaner. And first thing we'll do with this is give it a good squish. Get the old tea cut on it. We'll give this a good squish as well. Hey. As well to pull the other wheels as well on this, I think, because I think the axles are going to need a good clean, some fresh lubrication. Although they're not picking up electricity, so as long as they're nice and free moving, that's all that really matters. Yeah, full of gunk. Hey, get the monkey brush onto this. Right, I think we'll pop these wee bits and pieces into the Sonic Cleaner and I'll get myself a wee bit lunch. Okay, so jumping forward a bit, because you've seen me working on these motors many times, um, I've cleaned everything up, everything's been reassembled, so this should now go with the battery. Indeed it does. That sounds fine. So everything's been lubricated up. Um, and it all looks tickety-boo. So, I'm going to turn my attention to this. Now, this drawbar uh, is fixed onto the tender with this rivet, and the wires go up through the rivet. Um, but the hole that the rivet was in is broken, so I'm going to have to rebuild that with some epoxy putty, I think. And I think we'll also have to rebuild uh, cut the coupling screw hole there with some epoxy putty but let's see if we can get this glued together first of all um let me just trial fit some of these wee bits it's where i really wish i had much steadier hands than i do so fortunately nothing actually screws into this it's just the screw for the uh, the weight goes down through it into the motor. Um, so actually, I don't think that really matters, nor does that bit. I just need to get that glued up. Yeah, I think so. That's quite good. I don't think I have to rebuild this the way I first thought I would. Um, right, glue. Right, I've mixed up some plastic weld and hopefully that'll glue this better than super glue. Tape around this just to hold it. We'll let that set, and once that's set, we'll see if we can rebuild this hole for the drawbar rivet and the hole there for the coupling screw. 
In time, we'll get a look at the locomotive. Broken valve gear. Hey, let's get that off. Screw that. So I have a replacement, which I've cleaned up and straightened up because it was a bit bent, um, but that should fit in here. Like so, just clip into the motion bracket. Okay, so there we go, that's the valve gear fixed. That was nice and easy. Uh, but I think we'll uh, give this all a good clean. So we'll take the front bogey off. Lots of little bits of polystyrene. When I send models back, I'm going to start wrapping them in plastic before putting them into their polystyrene container because they're just awful things. Right, so we'll give this a bit of a squish out. off. I'm going to pull these wires out. I think what I'm going to do is replace these wires. Yeah. Okay, let me just check the, the motion on this. Got a wee lock up happening. Closing that. So where it's at that position. What's loose and what isn't. So everything's loose on this side. But on this side, this rod here is tight. Uh, I see. So this rod is hitting this bit here. Right, I think I have to pop this valve gear off again. Okay, what's happening here? I think that wants to bend in a touch. That wants to be straighter, as does that. I'll give that a go. Right, okay. Let's see if that's done the trick. There we go. That's all looking a bit better. Uh, we'll get some oil in it. Right, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's get a look at this pickup. Yeah, pretty dirty. Okay, I'm going to replace these wires. Uh, just got some black wire here that I think will do. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave this wire because that's an original join. Um, I don't like desoldering um, at that point if I can help it. So because there's a little join here, we'll uh, splice on a new bit of wire onto that. This wire will not take solder. 
Ah, oh, jings. No matter how much I clean the iron. I tried a bit of flux as well, but nope. Alright, it's going to try this piece of wire. It's, uh, it's grey. I don't have any black wire left after doing all the wiring in my layout. That's better. Isn't that weird? That wire does not like solder. So, oh, hang on. Before I screw that on, better get some oil into the axles. I need to get this little contact off because it's going to go on there. We'll desolder that. Solder that on, and they will go up through this rivet. But I think we'll leave that until we get this fixed. How is that glue doing? Right, I'm going to make sure this is uh, set properly before I start to rebuild that hole and the coupling hole. So I think I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea. Right, okay, I'm going to have a go at epoxying in this uh, rivet for this drawbar. Um, if it doesn't work out, I could possibly put a bit of plastic underneath and put a screw through. And that would uh, be an alternative. Uh, I found some black wire, so off camera I've replaced the wires again. Because uh, I think uh, black wire will look a lot better. So... Let's see if we can sort this. Um, I'm going to use uh, this Evo Stick metal epoxy. Um, it sticks plastic as well. But I think this will be stronger than Milliput. Right, mix this up. And we'll see if this works. If it doesn't, as I say, we could maybe try a wee screw. Right, let's try. Just a wee bit of this. Right, let's put a little blob on for this coupling screw hole. Right, okay, I'm going to let that uh, Set for a good couple of hours, um, so I think I'll be coming back to this tomorrow.